Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we have a dedicated reading vlog for Daisy's Decision by Ruby Dixon. I'm wearing my Alien Romance sweatshirt today to commemorate this. My lovely friend Desiree made it. I love her so much. So today is June 9th and Ruby's new book came out on the 4th. I was on vacation on the 4th and um, I was in the middle of another Alien Romance book and I know myself. I was like, if I put my current read down to go read Daisy's Decision, I will not come back to that read. And I was liking it. So I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna push through, I'm gonna read it. And so now it is June 9th. I finished up a couple days ago, but I haven't been in the mood to read this book until now. So that's what we're gonna do. I've decided to do a dedicated reading vlog for basically every single new release for Ruby Dixon from now on. Number one, because I'm already labeled as a Ruby Dixon like fangirl, so why not embrace it? And number two is um, I've already made an Ice Planet Barbarian guide video, and I don't feel like ever making one ever again because that took so long to edit and put together because there are so many books in the Ice Planet Barbarian universe. So every Ruby Dixon release, I'm just gonna vlog it so we can like build off of that video without having to redo it you know and then later this year i will hopefully have read all of ruby's backlist and i can do a ruby dixon deep dive video but we're not doing that today we're just gonna be talking about daisy's decision book number 16 in the ice home series this video will have spoilers if you don't care about spoilers or if you've already read the book go ahead and watch the rest of the video um if you want to be spoiled for this one i suggest clicking off now and coming back when you finally get to it i know it's number 16 in the series and you have to read it like the Ice Home series in tandem with IPB. So you got a lot of books to get to before you get to this one. So I've heard some opinions about this book already. It's only been out for what, five days? Everyone is like iffy on the ending. And I'm like nervous. I'm like, what happens at the end of this? I have a feeling that it might be like Steph's Outcast with, um, I don't know, some creatures messing in people's business or something. That's my inkling. There's like some tentacles on the cover. I've yet to read the summary, so we're gonna do it on camera right now. All I know is that this one is about Daisy and a mystery man. Um, I think I know who it might be. I think it might be Ojek. I don't know. Um, but Daisy is one of the later additions, the last human that has been added to the camp. And she is what people would label as vain. She was a human slave companion to this woman who like, like spoiled her essentially. So she's a very spoiled character, which are not my favorite characters. So we will see about this. Um, I know Daisy wasn't my favorite character, but I'm interested in anything Ruby, honestly. Um, so the summary says, I fear I've made a mistake. I left a pampered life and a loveless relationship. Oh wait, was it not a woman she was with? I think she was married to an alien. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> I left a pampered life and a loveless relationship to live on an icy prim primeval. Is it primeval? I can't, I can't speak. Anyway, a world all for the promise of a soulmate and children, but three years have passed and my hopes and dreams have become dashed. I haven't resonated. Without resonance, there will be no children for me and no loving mate. So I keep waiting and waiting. But then I come up with a brilliant plan to get me everything I want. And my plan needs a volunteer, one that would be happy to be my mate in all ways. Luckily, I know just who to approach. I don't know what any of that means. I don't know what plan would spark resonance. Unless like maybe, I have a theory maybe, maybe like, um, a bunch of the human women have been kidnapped and that sparked resonance. So maybe like she wants him to kidnap her. I don't know. Okay, so that's about it. I downloaded it off of KU and we're gonna, we're gonna read it. We're gonna read it. I've been watching Stranger Things, a new season. So like, I think I might read some, edit some, watch an episode. Like I can't edit videos all in one chunk cause it will fry my brain. And so what I do is I normally read a chapter of a book edit part of a video and then do something else and then start the cycle all over again with the next thing um so i think i might do that with like stranger things this book and then editing so we're gonna see i don't know how long it'll take me to read this but i'm ready to dive back into the ice home world because last one was steps and that was quite a while ago so let me go dive right on in and i'll update you as i go along okay y'all so i actually didn't start the book yesterday which is when i filmed that clip it's 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 the next day and I started it. Um, I just finished chapter two um, and I thought I'd update you because I have thoughts. Um, I completely forgot in one of the previous, is it the last book, Steph's Outcast, that Daisy fell 
in the fire. Like I completely forgot about that. So she's talking about how she has no hair and she has burns on her face. I'm like, what the F happened to Daisy? And I'm like, oh, she fell in the fire. I think um, there was a kid about to like fall in the fire and she saved the kid. I think that's what that was. I don't know. I don't really re recollect a lot from the Steph's Outcast because that one I read a while ago. I've only read it once, which is different from all the other Ruby's books. Like I've reread so many of them. I've only read Steph's Outcast once. I read it pretty quickly. It's like a three year time jump. Or is that Sam's Secret that happened in? Sam's Secret? I think Sam's Secret was more recent. I can't remember. Anyway, I think it was Sam's Secret now that I think about it. Yes. Dang, I'm really bad at this. I should know the reading order, okay? So Sam's Secret was last, which there was the three year time jump so i think it's steph's outcast and sam's secret that i have not reread so everything is a little hazy in those so i think in sam's secret daisy's the one who fell on the fire to save a kid and apparently um when she was unconscious after it um they were trying to like like take care of the burns or whatever and they had to cut off a bunch of her hair because it had singed to burn on fire they're trying to get to the wounds on her head and so um she did not like how patchy it looked afterwards so she just shaved it all off and so veronica who is the healer um has been slowly healing away her burns and slowly growing her hair because it takes a lot of her magical healing abilities to do this and so it's taking a while anyway so i did not remember that daisy was burned in a fire um but if you look closely on the cover it shows the burn marks um and yeah apparently this is her romance with ojek um and i think it's like a friends to lovers one i don't know right now daisy's like really depressed turns out in like the first chapter or second chapter one of the couples gets another round of run it res resonance there you go i can never say that right the first time and she is she finds out about it and she like breaks down because like all she wants is resonance and a mate and babies and that kind of like so that's what she wants it's been three years since she's been on this planet and she has not gotten anything and she is like so upset and thinks it's probably never gonna happen and that her scars make her ugly and that's like a least likely chance of her getting a mate i'm like girl no and then ojack is trying to tell her like you are too hard on yourself you are beautiful what the heck are you talking about i don't even see your scars when i look at you and so yeah i don't know if daisy like sees him in that way yet i'm only on chapter three um but ojack definitely sees her in a romantic way um but she's about to go cry in his arms because she has not had residence i feel bad hi everybody sorry i'm cleaning my glasses right now and the cat is screaming at me so bear with me <laughs> so i don't know if you notice i don't know if there's like a difference but i'm actually filming at like midnight and look at the lighting like i don't even know if there's a difference but i got better lighting <laughs> i got um i love my friend tori over at novel life i loved her setup um with her lights and i was like girl tell me what soft boxes you have got off of amazon and i got them in today so that's what we have now. I now have my ring light and then these two soft boxes. I normally am not gonna be wearing glasses so you can't see all of the light reflected in them. I know that's annoying. I hope it looks good. <laughs> anyway, um, we're here to talk about the progress I've made on Daisy's decision. So I'm like 30% of the way through and I had to stop because I had to update because I would have forgotten <laughs> what's happened since now. And so Daisy's like decision, I guess in this is her thought of, um, what if oh hello yes savannah come here do you want to say hi to the people <laughs> is that a no <laughs> she's not a cat that likes being held but she loves to scream at me right she loves to scream at me oh now she's purring do you like being held all of a sudden sorry if you keep hearing her scream um i think she wants to leave the room but i need to film this clip before i forget um so won't be a couple minutes and then you can go eat your food so i think daisy's decision is her trying to convince Ojek to be her mate but without resonance um, because she really wants a baby and so she's gonna have Veronica like force the pregnancy to happen kind of and so the deal that Ojek and Daisy have made is like Ojek will do this if she like isn't a lazy bump on the log anymore basically because all Daisy does is sit in her hut all day long and have people wait on her because she's used to that lifestyle in her previous life she was basically a ornament for a man um and so she doesn't really know how to hunt how to do anything 
like the, like that whatsoever. She can't cook, she can't clean, she can't do anything. And so she's just like, I need to be perfect and pristine. Like the man that used to own me was like, and so um, I need to do that. And Odrick's trying to tell her like, this is a different world. Like you're not in his life anymore. He is a piece of crap to you. Odrick's like, if you come hunting with me and do all these things with me, I will do this with you basically. And she's like, okay, well, before we go see Veronica, we need to practice doing it so uh she can help us go along and so that's kind of like what it is this isn't my favorite setup honestly there was just a scene where they're going to go hunting for the first time together and daisy's complaining about literally everything and they haven't walked even that far she's complaining about everything and then ojek kind of like snaps and is like dude suck it up and she's like starts crying <laughs> It'd be a different thing if she didn't want to be there, but like constantly, oh, Savannah just knocked over Crown of Midnight off of the chair. Please don't do that. Please don't, she's like, was like trying to get another book. I think also her being so self deprecating all the time and being like, I'm so ugly. I'm so ugly now. No one will want me now. What's the point of living now? What's the point of eating now if I'm ugly? And I'm like, girl, you're not like, shush. <laughs> and it just, it, I don't know, that makes me, I don't really want to read about something like that. I just don't personally want to read about something like that. Since I kind of like read to escape self-deprecating thoughts like that. Like I have self-deprecating thoughts about myself. I don't really want to read about that personally. Um, not like that though. To that extreme, Daisy's very overdramatic and extreme. But I'm really sad for Ojek. I feel like Ojek deserves better. Um, Cause he's like, I feel like Daisy only wants me for my swimmers. <laughs> and like, I want, and a resonant mate like that's what i want and i feel like she doesn't care and so i feel bad for him i also am not that big of a fan of the what's their clan name i don't remember their clan name but like the clan name the clan with like the fur on their arms or whatever it's not my favorite clan like atom not my favorite him and bridget's uh romance is one of my least favorite in the entire series so they're just not it for me this group of men like they're sweet and all but like so far the romances have been lackluster compared to the other clans they also just had their like first time together like it was both both of their firsts you know it was awful <laughs> like it was so bad to read about so far this is not going well for me i'm at like a three right now and the three stars is simply because it's a ruby and an ipv book or Ice Home Book technically, but same universe. But like, that's the only saving grace right now. And I don't really like the side characters in here making such crude comments that really offends the characters too. Like that's not like Ruby's characters to me. Like I know Lauren says something at one point, like, oh my gosh, Daisy up before sunrise. Like it really hurts Daisy's feelings and Lauren can't see that. And I feel like Lauren is more aware of stuff like that but whatever Tem maybe says something basically like why would she want you when she could have other men like as a joke and i'm like dude just zip it <laughs> zip it um like i don't get comments like that like even if it's a joke like i don't i'm not a jokey person when it comes to a joke that could hurt someone's feelings and i don't see how someone couldn't see that as hurting someone's feelings but i gotta get back to reading this but basically where i'm at right now is chapter um chapter 10 right now i'm on chapter 10 and they're in like a cave together and he just did something to her for the first time <laughs> so far this is not my favorite one yeah and i'm really nervous too because i've seen some of my friends uh reading it already a lot of my friends have given it a low rating and have said like the ending was not their vibe. And so I'm like really nervous about what the ending's gonna be like. So we'll see. I normally give Ruby's like at least over a four unless like they really bothered me. Right now, this is sitting at a three. Hi, it's a couple days later and I finished the book. Also, sorry if I sound weird, my retainer is already in and I'm about to hop into bed. <laughs> so I have some notes of stuff that I wanna mention <laughs> that uh, I wanted to talk about. Things I liked and I disliked, okay? Before I give my rating and overall thoughts. A big no-no for me in romance books is somebody doing something to somebody when they're asleep, when there is no consent involved beforehand. And Daisy does something in Ojek and I'm like, girl, 
I know you're new to all this, but like ask somebody before you do step to them in their sleep. Anyway, Daisy really annoyed me. Probably my least favorite character out of all of the heroines in Ruby's books. Not kidding, don't like her. I also just don't like reading about unlikable main characters. Like I get that she was meant to be an unlikable main character. I don't like reading about characters like that, so. And then Ojek's whole reasoning for staying away from Daisy was so dumb. Like there's this one portion of the book where Daisy falls behind this waterfall in the fruit cave and um, he thinks she's dead. And he's immediately like, I don't want to affiliate myself with any her, with her anymore because she's gonna die and blah blah blah. And I'm like, dude, suck it freaking up. His reasoning for staying away was dumb. The third act breakup was dumb. No. Um, also, so many of the side characters were rude and mean. I think I mentioned this in my last clip. Like, a lot of the characters were just rude and mean in some things they said, especially Rook at one point. I'm like, dude, why are you being so mean? Anyway, I now I understand people when they're like, oh, I don't know if I like this ending or the ending really threw me off. I don't know what I think about the ending. I get it now. Basically, Ruby switched up her um, couplings, pairings for the last two pairs. So basically the way the book set it up or the book set it up was that Irek and Tia were going to be together and then Arjal and Floor we're gonna be together. But I had an inkling that wasn't gonna happen because Ruby kept saying that over and over and over in the book, like in her writing, like, oh, they're bound to be together. Like the pairings are going to end up together. And like at the end, you realize that Floor and Irek had resonance. And I'm like, I kind of saw that coming and I like that. I also can't wait for Arjal, Arjal and Tia's book because that one's gonna be very interesting because it's gonna be a big age gap because he's way older than Tia. Um, so I love me an age gap romance. So I'm actually looking forward to these pairings. I don't get why people were upset about it. Something I did like, I'm gonna mention my favorite scene in the book. Um, I liked when Daisy finally made friends with people. Like the whole scene, there was like the scene where Ellie and Angie and Daisy were all hanging out and doing this. Oh, my iPad almost just fell. <laughs> anyway, they were all like trying to do this skidding stuff and they were becoming friends, getting to know each other. I liked that scene. I liked it. That's something I like. That's probably my favorite scene, but there wasn't too much I liked about this one. I honestly skipped over a bunch of the steamy time once the resonance started happening between the two of them. Um, I thought the scene where Ojak got like ripped down by the tentacle thing was a good like written scene but like i just got bored after it which doesn't really happen a lot with ruby's books i just think there was a lack of connection with me and the characters so i'm probably gonna give it three stars i know this is like like kind of funny my last clip was at 30 percent and i just finished it but i just wanted to get it done with honestly it's not my favorite i can't wait for the next two books i hope they are better than this one please i actually just downloaded Sam's Secret because I wanted to reread it because I liked that one so much. Like the beginning at least. They're the whole character that like comes in, the gladiator character that comes in that tries to kill them in the fruit cave or whatever. I did not like that part. I liked all the beginning where like Sam's running away from Sissa. Like I loved that part. <laughs> so I kind of just want to reread the beginning and that's it. <laughs> so I kind of want to just go do that right now. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get this edited and uploaded for y'all. So yeah, I probably don't think a lot of people are going to watch this because it is book 16 in the series. But thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far. Um, to let me know that you made it this far, leave me a purple heart emoji in the comments. And also let me know what you thought about this book. Do you agree with anything I said? Do you disagree? I am up to differing opinions. So chat in the comments. Just be kind and courteous, okay? Um, but yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.